Whistler, Canada is one of the most famous ski resorts in the world. Unfortunately, at this time of year, there's not a lot of snow. However, we're here to test an SUV that looks as sharp as a ski's edge. It's called the Lexus NX. The NX is the Japanese luxury brand's smallest SUV yet, based loosely on the Toyota RAV4. Where the larger Lexus RX takes on the likes of the BMW X5, this model will compete against the BMW X3, as well as the Audi Q5 and Range Rover Evoque. You might recall the LF NX concept car that previewed this vehicle, a show car that looked like an origami project using metal instead of paper. Thankfully, Lexus's designers have toned down the production design, though it still looks edgy enough that you'd half expect to cut your hand on it. Two particularly notable features of the NX interior. Firstly, a new version of the Lexus Remote Touch interface. Previously, it used to be a bit of a point and click affair mimicking a mouse pad. Now it's more of a iPad style interface where you pinch in, pinch out, just like you would on an iPad. And also a click, there's a vibration function to know when you've selected a system. Now it's pretty good, but it's still not quite as intuitive as the iDrive system from BMW. Secondly, a world first for vehicles, a wireless charging system for your smartphone. It has to be compatible, so for my iPhone you do have to buy a special case, but once you have that, put it here, close it, drive off, and at the end of your destination you've got a full battery life. Pretty clever. Expect that Lexus NX to come with the most equipment for the money in its class, while also undercutting the X3 and Q5 with pricing that could potentially start from as low as $55,000. And despite being shorter than its RX sibling, the NX offers comparable space in the back seat, as well as bringing a larger boot, even if cargo volume is a bit down on its competitors. So how does it drive? Well, we'll have to wait till we get this car back to Australia to get the definitive verdict on ride and handling, but we can tell you that the electric steering is very nice, it's smooth, very predictable. In terms of the ride, well, the suspension feels like it's bias more towards sportiness than ride comfort and there's a little bit of abruptness over bigger bumps. Now the big news with the NX is a new 2 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder that gives Lexus a direct rival to the X328i and the Q5 2 litre TFSI. It's got similar outputs 175 kilowatts and 350 newton meters and there's a nice meaty mid-range to this engine and refinement as you'd expect from a Lexus is A grade. The turbocharged NX200T provides more effortless momentum on the open road than the NX300H, while it is also two seconds quicker than the hybrid in benchmark acceleration, whether you pick a front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive variant. A new six-speed auto that isn't as decisive or sweet shifting as the eight-speeder found in the X3 is the main downside of the NX's drivetrain, though we should stress we're driving a pre-production prototype here. What do we think of the NX with first impressions? Well, it certainly makes the larger RX feel a bit outdated in terms of design and packaging. And against its competitors, well, it's got clever tech, strong value, and good drivability that would make this a worthy consideration over the X3, Q5, or Evoque.